I can't actually believe I'm looking at this title screen right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Elden Ring where we have something to accept. Here is the thing, while we scroll down this endless essay, I know what people are going to be saying. Mr. Sketchhead, didn't you just make a video a couple of months ago which basically said that you think this game is never coming out? And to that I say, yes I did. And I'm happy to be proven wrong. I said it then as well. Yeah, just accepting to be put into the human centipad right there uh, just to get Elden Ring started. Yeah, I'm super happy. Uh, this game is actually out. It's out a lot earlier than I ever expected it to be. And what else is there to do but to play it? Listen, there's going to be Elden Ring content on this channel out the wazoo as they say. Um, it's gonna be insane. This is not just my first playthrough, but expect ultimate guides, other guides, discussion videos, going in to the whole Elden Ring thing. I mean, it's been like, what, a couple of years since Sekiro? A couple of years since the new, like, proper Souls game. Basically since Dark Souls 3, because Sekiro was a bit off to the side with what it's like. Of course we had Demon's Souls, but you know, that's a remake. I am super pumped, not to mention the fact that this game got hella good reviews, so... Oh, okay. What is this? Allows for manual control of aiming... Yeah, and... yeah, we want that, we want that. Okay, we're picking a class already. I am going to spend some time here and think about this. Uh, basically, the build I am trying to go for is going to be a hybrid build. I want to see as much of this game as possible, so... I'm thinking we need to have dual daggers so we can sneak around and backstab people. We need to have like a main sword, something like a straight sword or maybe even something bigger, like a bastard sword or something. I want to have a bow, at least a bit of ranged, and some spells, maybe buffs. I don't know, listen, I gotta mention this, I've, over the past couple of months, I've tried to stay away from as much content regarding this game as possible. I was really trying not to spoil myself, so I am going in here pretty blind. I don't even know what each of these classes do, so yeah, let's take a look at this. I am going to cut out the character creator's boring bits, but let's just take a look here. We have Vagabond. Okay, so I think this look. I'm just going by what we see. This looks like the standard sort of knight warrior. Uh, this guy looks like I think this might be like the bandit, or not the bandit, but like the cell sword in Dark Souls 3. It's looking like it from the outfit. This is the bandit. Uh, I think this is a strength. Yeah, 16 strength. And this is the dex build, 16 dex. Okay, we have bandit. You start out with, it looks like some like small. I'm assuming this is a standard bandit. They just given him a bow. Assassin's Creed. Astrologer, this is the Sorcerer, Cleric, obviously, Samurai, oh, Nippon Steel, excellent, yeah, this is basically Dex, but with a bit of strength, uh, Samurai Sword, obviously, Prisoner, looks like, is that an S-Talk? Th that is definitely an S-Talk, so you get an S-Talk, and what the hell is that other thing? Uh, is it a Catalyst? Confessor... Looks like a bastard sword, and of course, the wretch. I gotta do it. I think the samurai, look, listen, we have dex, we have strength. Low intelligence, but not the worst. And we already have a bow to start off with. I'm probably gonna ditch the katana, but... Yeah, we're going, we're, go we're going with the samurai. I think this is the perfect sort of base or what build I'm going for. Okay, I'm gonna spend some time here on Character Creator and I'll see you back here. Okay, we have a gift to choose. This might be pretty important. We have Crimson Amber Medallion, increases maximum HP. Lands between rune, the goals of great shining and blah blah blah. Used to gain many runes. I think runes, I gotta figure out what is what. Golden Seed, reinforced sacred flasks. Uh, okay, Ashes are whole spirits. Oh yeah, you can summon like little phantom helpers in this game. I think this is one of those. Crackpot. Container for certain throne items. Oh, interesting. Stone sword key. Breaks the seal on im statues, but can only be used... Oh, it's like a fragrant branch. 
uh, charge with beguiling. Interesting. Maybe something like... <clears throat> maybe something like... Uh, what you call it? The thing that turns you into objects or something. <laughs> Boiled prawn. Nice. The New Orleans. Shabriri's Woe. Attracts... Oh! Boys, the text is going out of the box. I don't know if you've like noticed that a little bit. Okay. I'm going for flasks. Because I'm cheap like that. Alright, let's go into character creator. Hey Perets, what do you think about Elden Ring? Should people subscribe to Mr. Sketchhead? Should they like, comment and turn on post notifications? You just want chicken, don't you? Okay, so this is what I came up with. Uh, I was just, you know, messing around with... There's a lot of options here. And I think it's finally possible to create a character that doesn't look like ass. Uh, I basically came up with... This is just like a standard Geralt slash... Uh, what's the dude from... Neo, I've already forgotten, he's so generic. Uh, you know, like a standard protagonist. Listen, we're gonna be covered in armor 90% of the time, it's not gonna matter too much. Cutscene though, we have a cutscene. Come on George R.R. R. Martin, show us what you got. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Gideon of the all-knowing. There's an enemy in this game that eats shit. I'm hooked. You're really good. Oh, there's it's still going. Whom grace would again bless. That's us. The 
Demon Souls. Sounds like a plan. I'm on it. Yeah, this is like, it kind of feels like an amalgamation of all the other Souls games. A uh, bit of Demon Souls, bit of Bloodborne, bit of Sekiro, you know, pretty interesting intro. Uh, one thing I've picked up, I've looked at a couple of reviews, uh, but people have been saying that for sure the, oh fuck, I'm already wasting shit. Uh, the story of this game is a little bit more straightforward than some of the other games, but that's okay. Praise the Elden Ring. Oh yeah, I am online, aren't I? Yeah, this is the Elden Ring. Or Elden Ring. Let's get going here. Listen. Uh, that's gonna be... It's doing the Sekiro thing where you need triangle to pick shit up. Tarnished Wizened Fingers. All right. Yeah, okay. I, I know how to do that. Thank you, game. Inventory. I know how to do that, game. Thank you. Used to write messages. Cool. So, let's just take a look at this. We can jump. We can crouch. I'm liking this already. We can run and crouch and run and jump. Uh, attack. With Nippon Steel. We have our shield, parry, block. Cool. Let's stop wasting time. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna take me so long to get used to that, because you know muscle memory. All right. Where are we at? Chapel of Anticipate. Are they are they roasting us? Listen. Fucking chap. Of course. Of course I'm anticipating this game. Treasure ahead. Yes, please. Gorgeous view. Exactly. Nice tree you got there, boy. Uh, well, yeah, probably it's a good time to talk about uh, the like how this playthrough is going to go in general, in terms of the structure. Uh, one thing I've picked up on with all the reviews is that this game is incredibly lengthy if you do a lot of the stuff. It's like 87 hours or something. Uh, obviously, if I do 87 hour playthroughs, I'm never gonna finish anything. So there are going to be portions of this playthrough where I'm just wandering the open world, which I am going to cut. So I'll, I'm gonna record, but unless nothing interesting or something interesting happens, I'm not gonna, you know, kind of show it. Realistically, I need to do that in order, again, to just make this something realistic to complete. The honest thing is that... Oh man, I really thought there was going to be treasure here. The honest thing is that... Um, there is a main path which you can stick to. However, I don't want to do that. I do want to explore the open world and sort of look through everything. It's just, you know... I gotta keep, again, the sort of standard playthrough thinking in mind as well. Anyways, I took a bit of a break there because... Oh, shit! Because I had something to take care of. Uh, so I quit the game and I think the servers might be a little bit spotty because... Bruh, I couldn't log back in or could barely log back in. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, so, just to spoil it, I'm dead already? Fuck! Damn, I got annihilated there. Just to spoil it, it's Friday, so sometimes I have to take care of stuff. But hey, anything for Elden Ring. This is loud as hell. No, it's not. It's okay. God, this is turning into a bit of a mess here. So yeah, I went and did something for like half an hour. I see a boss and I get fucking blasted immediately. Well, classic souls. That guy looks like he's difficult to beat. Honestly. But people are gonna do it. 
listen, I know how the Souls community is. There's going to be like videos tomorrow where people are going to be like clearing this game in like under three hours. Like speedrunners, especially, they're fucking crazy. Hey, horsey. But it's a um, ram horsey. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. This is our waifu, isn't it? We found him here, after all. Hell yeah. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Yeah. Supreme Waifu. I've seen images of her. This is a 10 out of 10 Souls Waifu for sure. By the way, the other thing I was going to say is I really didn't expect them to give us full samurai armor. Because, you know, sometimes they do that where the image for the class shows a different, like, more advanced armor set than what you actually get at the start. But, no, we actually got the proper full, like, dope samurai armor, which is good because... Oh, shit, Flask of Crimson Tears. We know what this is. Flask of Cerulean Tears, I know what this is as well. Pretty clear, I think. It's a ghost. Oh, I thought take a plunge in there. Because I was going to say, take a... P oh, shit. <sighs> See, I'm wondering if they're trolling us or not. That is a tree. 9999 positive ratings. The Souls community, everyone. See, now I'm really curious about that drop there. Uh, just see how confident I am in my abilities. Looks like there's a way up there as well. Oh, shit. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay. See, okay. So I'm going to need to... This is one thing I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna need to like adjust my uh, face cam. Right now it's blocking the soul counter, so give me a second. Okay, should be good. Uh, yeah, the I do like that the dynamic HUD is sort of on by default. Okay, I'm not afraid. Use item, switch item. Looks like fall damage is like way reduced. Raise the jumping off. There's going to be some shit here. I can already tell. Or not. Oh, but fuck. See, this is why. This is classic souls. Now I'm really curious about what's up there. In that door. There's never a good place to like go. It's always pastime, flash, memorize, spell. See, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have any magic, I think, so far. So I think there's no point in having the the FP flask. Let's just go. I do like that the thing is dynamic now, the tutorial hints. It's not always just about the message. Oh, shit. Okay, thank fuck he missed. These are hollows. Come on. Fuck, that is a long... Okay. Come on. We need to figure out which parry timing this game uses. God, that is a long wind-up. Okay, l let me just backstab you. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I know how to guard. Oh, God. I expect that to be quick. Come on. Jesus. Okay, heal. I know this is probably not not worth. Oh, come on, backstab him. 
There we go. First backstab. Less brutal than Demon Souls. Uh, Demon Souls really went all out. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> he doesn't even hit. What a useless idiot. Get backstabbed. This is a nice little camp you got there, boys. It's a bra. Oh, but you know what? Get fucked, bitch. Oh, if I'd sniped him out, that would have been sick. Oh, no! I missed my first parry. I mean, my first repost. I panicked. Damn. Game is looking really nice, though. By the way, if anyone is asking, I am playing on PS5, so... Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. Yeah. Wait, what is it? Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to figure out. Like how you... Okay. Guard break. Is there a guard break? Oh no, there is some like different mechanic, right? I, I've heard about it. And then we can go... God, that is weird. Okay. This, some of these are going to take some time to get used to. Believe me. But I do like that they... Give us the opportunity to wield three weapons. A la Dark Souls 2. Come on, I am... Get parried. Hell yeah. That's what I'm looking for. The tasty, tasty parry. Whip a bow. Yeah, okay. R1, arrow type 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how it goes. Let's check the other arrow type. Oh, that's a fire arrow. That deals a lot of damage. I am happy... Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. Cool. Uh, yep. So what I was trying to do is... Well, first of all, we can go for the stealth. We're playing Assassin's Creed now. To stab this golem right here. Ooh, I know what that is. Ha! <laughs> You're gonna get Nippon steeled. No! That is badass. And he even does the little shake off. Man. I know this is weeby, but... I don't care. Okay, this... Some attacks may break an enemy stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Hold R2 to charge. R2 while jumping, jump attack. Okay, let's try this out. Oh! Okay, so there is no guard break like the classic push forward thing. This is what you have instead. When dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Mari Mar Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. The reason I'm laughing is... Uh, Marika is a, like a classic old lady's name. Like an old lady, like an old lunch lady name. That's like a classic. So Marika is a little bit weird for us Hungarians. Soldier of Godric. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. R2 immediately after blocking an attack. Oh fuck. Man, what is with the wind-ups, though? Oh, shit! And this is a boss? Man. That was a waste of giving something a health bar. Like a separate boss health bar. Oh, okay, I'm on the wrong thing. First boss. Easy. Elden Ring. Difficulty. I don't even know what any of those things mean. Oh, I figured it out. 
this is the tutorial and then if you just go there that's the clever 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 so essentially if you want to like skip the combat tutorial because you know how to play the game you can just go straight through that is very smart that is very smart i do like that option same as in dark souls 2 you know they give you the option of basically skipping the tutorial i think that is very good for subsequent playthroughs okay we're gonna rest i don't assume we can yeah we can't level up or anything like that so let's just get going well, one thing i wanted to check out this is the map okay uh i wanted to check the gestures Bow, wave, jump for joy, point forward, rally cry. Okay, which one can I switch here? Because I assume we have dejection, rest, the ring. This is what I want. Is this praise the sun? I fucked up with equipping it too. This is praise the sun for this game. Hell yeah, it is. I know praise the sun when I see it. Use tarnished furled fingers to write gold summon sign. Cooperative multi... Okay. I got you, fam. Listen, regarding the lore for all these items, um... Of course. Classic. What would a Souls game be without a shit ton of messages pointing to random walls saying there's a hidden wall there? Because of course, like, you know the Souls community. Like... Hidden walls is our gem. <laughs> this everywhere. Yeah, hidden walls. And some of them, you know, the thing is, and it's making me wonder too, what if one of them is a hidden wall and then I miss it? Are we here? We're here. Limb grave. Holy shit, this game looks really nice, actually. You know, when I saw the network test, I... I did like it. Like, I did like how bright this game is. I think that is very much needed. I don't mind the dark aesthetic uh, that much, but... This game is definitely... Oh, we can... Listen. How fucked up is that? This is literally the first enemy I see out in the open world. And it's a fucking endangered animal that... It's a bald eagle too. Like, they're illegal to kill. And what is that? Like, it's like a Pikachu. It's a fucking chinchilla. Unbelievable. This game is messed up. I can already tell. Tame beast bones. It's like Sekiro. Like, in Sekiro you were murdering animals left and right. Man. This is awesome. An open world. I can't believe we're actually here. That we have an open world Souls game out in the market. Shit. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. We can go to the little NPC. Touch Grace and we'll talk to our first Souls NPC. Here's what I, I mean. Elden Ring NPC. Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along the way. Yeah, this is... So I do know about this. This is the sort of main path of the game. Uh, if you follow all the sort of grace... Like, you can see the sort of path emanating. It sort of leads you along the main path, the shortest path to the ending. Uh, but who wants to do that? Not me. Okay, here's what I'm predicting. There's going to be weird laughter. Let's see if I'm right. You look a little bit dead. Or you have like some thing on your face, man. You are wifeless. Interesting. 
to die in obscurity. Our first NPC in any From Software game has to be an asshole to us, right? It's pretty much tradition at this point. I'm looking at that thing down there. Vare. Vare. Care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, Tarnish. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. Do you know how I know that? There was a giant tutorial message that just flashed up like 30 seconds ago. I think that's how I know about it. I'm not gonna follow Jack shit. Oh man. Alright, well thank you. Oh. I think that's Castle Stormwell. It's weird like pointing shit. I knocked into my mic. It's weird pointing because I immediately go out of flame. Frame. God. Oh, I think Elden Ring has melted my brain. Um, so, the first demigod. Okay. So, wherever we see this, summoning pool is now functional. Cool. Uh,. Hopefully that doesn't mean invasion pool as well. I mean... <laughs> you gotta, don't you? Of course you gotta. Maybe I don't gotta. Uh-oh. Still alive. You have a lot of HP. I don't have any HP left. Is that death number one? No, well, technically, no. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I was a little bit too brave. Upon dying, you will be. Yeah, you drop the rune. Okay, so runes are your souls. Cool. That's all I needed to know. Is he gone? No, he's not. Okay. So I'm going to be slightly smarter here. I'm like 100% sure that guy is parryable. Not parryable, repostable. But, but we'll see, but we'll see. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get ahead of myself. Holy shit. Hello, bald eagles. Don't worry, I am not going to kill a single bald eagle. Uh, you can be guaranteed of that. 100%. No bald eagles are gonna die on Mr. Sketchhead's watch. I spent too long in the US to allow bald eagle deaths. Anyways, I'm gonna take this path here to here because I, I don't know why. It just feels like it. Acquire materials. Flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, and various other useful materials used for crafting. Yeah, we're straight up going Breath of, breath of the Wild here. Obviously, if you can't tell, uh, if it hasn't become obvious, this game is just slightly influenced by... Breath of the Wild. Just very, very slightly. Um, yeah, let's just take a look in here. Church of LA. Is that Santa Claus? Cool. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace you've discovered. However, some dungeons and other areas there are some dungeons where this cannot be done, sort of expected. Everything so far is very much in line 
uh, with what I was expecting. In a smithing table, you can spend runes on smithing stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can like basic upgrade here or with this. St straight up Santa colored. What up? What is that? Is that a bow? Try not to. Kale. Okay, Santa. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Telescope. Candy. Cracked pot. Crafting kit. It might be useful. Do you sell weapons? Key items. Crafting kit, Nomadic Warriors, Cookbook, interesting. Armaments, he sells a shield and a torch. Uh, I don't, do I have a torch? Okay, so we're going to get the torch, because I feel like that's useful. Uh, not imparting knowledge in brief. What? I think we're also going to probably get the crafting kit. Yeah, I think I think those two are useful. Let's listen to a little bit about him. Is that an ass that he has? That looks like an ass. First Souls NPC. Second, I should say. And I keep saying Souls, it's Elden Ring. I'm never gonna get used to saying Elden Ring. It's straight, it, it is an ass. Like a camel ass type thing. Interestingly, the map is not, like, getting visible. I don't mind, but, yeah. Cool. I think, boys, with this and girls, we are about to wrap up our first episode of Elden Ring. I am liking it. I am liking it. As someone who has sort of been left out of the Breath of the Wild hype, as in I've not purchased Breath of the Wild yet, it's really good to be basically playing a very similar game but also it being souls like is there more that i could ask for i don't think so look at this open world that's where we came from right that dude is bothering me that big knight uh i'm going to be stubborn and we'll try fighting him but that's gonna be in the next episode so as you saw my dog's instructions. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Expect a ton of Elden Ring in the coming days. It's just how it's gonna be. And again, pretty much for the next however long. Elden Ring and me are basically married at this point. Thank you for watching. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.